Good morning, everyone. So today I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw the basic dots for embroidery on a face mat on the paper. So I'm going to this is our daughter girl, the 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 bear, the girl, the little girl dancing ballet girl. So first, I'm going to draw the circle. If you don't know how to draw the circle perfectly, you can get the uh, a quarter or a penny. I try my best, everyone. I'm not a arctic or anything. Okay. Try my best. So that's the circle. And it's here. I'm going to draw a just a tiny, not tiny, it's just a flower, just like that. And then it, from here, I'm going to divide into something like this. That for her hair, that in her forehead. That you're going to embroider there later. And then from here, I want her to have a ponytail. So I'm going to draw it down to here. And then it from here, from the side of the hair here, I'm going to make that slide go now. There. And later on, we're going to embroider some light right there. So here come down to her neck. And then let curl out a little bit right there. Let curl out a little bit right there. Okay. Okay, so now you go on to here, you go on. this is her neck and this is the dress later on we go on to um to uh, add the solid color to here. So I'm just doing this so you know that you're going to add the color right there. So now you're going to make a, a ballet dress. You have to draw the perfect uh, dress right here that make two sides even. I have here four inches. If you have something that is four inches, you can get the place, the bowl that you eat food you can get that and then you can go down to just go around so you place one corner here in the corner of her, her shirt right here the top right here okay that's her top so you're going to place this right in here and then go down to one side and then the just like this you go going in and then you make it like a little bit Round like that, and then from the other side, you do doing exactly the same. Okay, so now you have the skirt just like that. You can fix around, that's okay, you know, it's not a big deal. And then you go on to do more of that. It doesn't have to be perfect, you just draw the line.
Okay, so everyone, I have the two fabric circle right here. This is size 11 inches fabric, everyone. So I'm only use one, one of the circle for now. I'm going to put it on the way when we make face mat, we put it back on. So for this one, I'm going to fold it. Fold it the same way you make face map, everyone. But you don't cut everything yet. I'm doing this just to have an idea where the face map and where to place the baby doll. The doll, okay? So usually when you cut the, the face mat, you're going to measure this up here and then you're going to cut this way. And then you sew this in. So the face mat usually go on this way. I'm going to draw the line first. I'm going to bring it up one inch, everybody. From the, this is the big fold and this is the two fold. I'm going to just mark the line. I'm not doing anything. I'm going to mark the line here. That's the one inch. I'm going to measure from the corner here up to here. The corner up to here. I'm going to take six and a half inch all the way up there. Now I'm going to draw the line so I know that exactly where I'm going to to cut the circle after to cut the line. Ready? So now I have it. I have the line already. I know it's right here. So I'm going to place the door in there. I'm going to trace it. I'm going to mark the line right here so I know she's going to stand somewhere there. And just mark the line here. So I'm going to have her somewhere here. Now you open it. You can have it the, the corner right here. You're going to place her under here. You can see it very clearly. The reason why I'm doing this because I don't want people to spend more money on everything else. Since we're not working. So, do whatever to help you to save money. I'm going to trace her. Just use a pencil. Okay. So when you have something like that at the edge, and when sometimes you place the embroidery, look, it's not going to fit in here. This is what you need to do. You're going to get another piece of fabric. And you're going to make sure it go into here. To go on the line here. So you have an extra piece right there. Give me one second. I'm going to get the thread. Okay, so now you're going to hold this piece together with another fabric. You just have to like sew this in, but don't sew permanent. It's just good enough for it to hold the other pair of fabrics together. Just like this, everyone. You have an extra piece of of the fabric here. You can pull this down. Camera. Okay, so I'm going to tie this up a little bit. Turn it, turn it until it's really tight. Okay, you want to bring it in tight. Okay, so now you're going to pull. Just remember that. Always have to get another fabric put on it so you can have an extra room here to work in on your door. Okay, that's simple. And then I'm going to show you how to do this. So I need the marble ball. I mean the marble ball. The marble bath that I had the other day is going to hold this down for me. I'm going to face the camera this way because I'm on the floor and make it easier for me. 
And if you hear that sound making right there, that is my air conditioner I need it today really bad. So now I make a knock on the one right here. This is two thread, okay, and this is a needle. I'm going to place it under here where her where the end of the flower right there. And now I'm going to sew this way, everyone. I'm going to go around. Is that where you do backstitch, everybody? I like you to do that for the whole face here. Just go into here, okay, and go around. When you go into her neckline right here, skip that, go to the next one right here, okay? So then I'm going to her inside here, that she have the thing of her hair right now in here. You're going to do that too. You're going to like it doing this because it's so relaxing. Do the same thing. Do the light that you do, that you draw for her hair around her foot in front of her face. So you can do that. There's two things that you can do. You can do the way I do backward and forward or bastard up to you as long as you do this you know the same style make sure you go back to the the same hole of her hair when you come out just make sure like one strand of the hair goes straight Otherwise, she go. She look like she need a new shampoo. Yeah, and now you go to the other side. You do exact the same, everybody. Okay, same thing like this to her fun hair like here, and then we we'll do a flower and the bow detail the same thing. Everyone, I get into this point. I want to point out for you. You do an exact the same one, the stitch here, but when you get into the ponytail, you do it thicker. Not thicker mean that you know you do the uh, the the thicker stick, but you do more more strain here so to make it um, so but the ponytail look nicer thicker. So you're doing very close together the the strain of the hair. You do more. So we're done with the hair thing and I'm going down to the eyes I have the eyes here it's so easy you can just do one strain down and then the other one You look more like me now, everyone. Well, she look cuter. See that eyes? You just do two little things. And go in the back here. You can just go right to that. The string that you have back here. And then you tie the loop. You get out. And do a different thing. We're going to leave the flower there for later on when we do it down here. So right now I'm going to show you how to do her, her top here. The dress. I'm going to use purple. So I'm going to take this out. This the uh, the dress just come out like this, everyone. So you take you you take it about twenty four inches. You don't want it too long. We're gonna go to knot. Go and try you crazy. So I'm going to use the purple. Same old thing. I'm going only take out two. And I hold it like this and I pull. Gently pull. You see the circle? We're gonna go a little bit gray in the, uh, the top one right here. At the corner.
So after you fill it up, her top, you go on to go back here, you make the loop and then you come out. Uh, this kind of green, this kind of green. Okay, so take it out, same way. About 24 inches long. Cut. I feel like a movie star. So you go on to take three out from here. In one here, there's six of them, so you get three. I use to gently pull. I just use single, so it's right here. I'm using that one, okay? And I'm going to make the knock at the end. One, two, three. Hold it and pull. Yes or not? All right, so I'm going to her dress. You see the line that we have to stamp? We're going to do that. I'm going to do one or two just to show you. But then we'll, you go on to finish the stamp and then we'll come back with the flower. Alright, so now I'm going here. This is that the leaf right there. So I'm coming up here. I'm going to come back next to it. I'm not going to go right in the same hole. I'm going next to the one that is coming up. And I hold this loop right in my hand. Okay, and then the, the leaf right there, I'm going to go up. And I hold it. And I go on to go outside of the loop right there. I come down. That. So simple. The next one here, there's another leaf. Do the same thing. Go down next to it. Don't go down to the same same hole but hold on to the string look at that everyone after i show you over here i finish them over here now we're going to move on to the flower oh my god you can see it looks so pretty i have to go this way so my hand won't cover i just figured that out everyone um this is the marble bag that i need that to support my um my uh embroidering hook so it won't move away from me there's a flower on her head. I'm going to use the yellow. This time I'm using three. So you open this. There's six in here. You're going to use three of them. Alright, this is the basic one. And the next time when we do a flower, we're going to do a different uh, style of flower. Okay, so now I have the flower of um, the yellow dread right here. I'm going to go under. I don't know if you do that. Um, you see that flower last time I did? We're going to do exact the same everybody. Just the same way you do the leaf. So for the middle of the flower, I'm going to use a black in, I use three threads at the time, but I'm single now, not double. So single, three of them. So I'm going to go up to here. And I'm going to hold this one hand like this, and I'm going to go wrap around the needle three times. One two 
and three and I'm going to go right into the middle and this pin right here I'm going to pull and then I'll go down pull down just like that to the next one same thing everyone you're going to do all of these flowers okay for her shoe her uh, dancing shoe there I'm going to use this is three three dress at at one and I double so I'm going to make it just one knot right here together so it's together is six of them okay so I'm going to go under to here okay so I'm going to go to here in the middle where the first shoe I'm coming down just like this Her toes is pointing down. We're going to move on to the face mat. So now you can just take the extra fabric away that earlier we needed to support the um, the fabric for the face mat. Remember we have another piece of the fabric like this so we can make a face mat. So earlier we do doing this way, so we're going to fold it back where it should be. Okay, so like that. So all you need to do earlier, when we did measure, I still remember, one inch from here, from here to here, six and a half inch. So I'm going to just make sure I'm going to iron again. And I'm going to cut. I forgot to tell you. So one inch from here to here and then one inch from there to there. What's wrong with me? The heat cook my brain again I only have that much okay so one inch one inch I can believe it there that makes sense everyone okay so I'm gonna cut yeah so now I have this. This is the first piece with the door we're going to put on the side. But um, let's, just, uh, let's just do this. So this line right here, you're going to sew this curl line for me. Just the whole curl line, okay everyone? Don't do anything here, just the curl line. The second piece right here I have, you're going to fold it. Okay, so from from the same the same thing, you go on to measure one inch, in, one inch, and one inch to connect with six and a half inch. But this time is a bit different, so that connect this one inch from this pointy for this pointy up to here six and a half. right there connect this line and then cut
Okay, a bit different here. When you cut this, you have two of this. Two of this, okay? Only need one. We only need one. So I need to cut this into two. I'm going to make a filter pocket for it. There. Now, I have to find a picture of the fish. This little fish, everyone. All right, from this one to here, I like you to bring it in two inches. Two inches right there. So I need to do it just pressed. Don't cut it, just leave it there. So just press on one side. Let's go to the other side and then press. Okay, and now the same thing. Leave the piece there, but you're going to sew this curl in. Same thing to the big piece right here. The big piece we sew this curl. This one we sew this curl with this. The reason why I only cut the, I only use the other quarter of the fabric for the filter because I don't want it to thick. This cotton right here, this is 300 something dress cow. So it's really, really thick. Not thick, but it's really good fabric. So don't need to have four layer for it. That's why I'm only use two of this for the face mat and then one for the limb for the filter pocket. So I'm bringing this over. This is the filter pocket. I'm going to press the line also. I'm going to inside out this everyone. Alright, so I'm going to iron this part. So after I, I iron this, everyone, this is the, the lie that I just ironed. I place the filter right in here. So this is the door. This is the right side of the door and the right side of the filter will be on it. Now I'm going to make sure it stay right in the middle where the line, because I'm going to sew another line in there. So I'm going to make sure I'm clipping this thing right there so it stayed out for me and then I make sure the other end of the filter and the fabric on here it go down to here because I'm going to sew this line because I because I use one single fabric for the filter so now it's in here I can feel with my finger right there so I'm going to clip it so it won't move and I'm going to this side I'm doing the same thing you can open it you can look at it look it straight right in there but you can feel with your hand is right here clip okay so now I have it you go on the sole this line and then you sew in this line in and leave the two ends open. So go ahead and do that everyone. Oh, I forgot the piece for the no bridge. So here I have the piece of three and a half inch by one inch. I fold the two ends at the a quarter of an inch and I fold it in half again. So pin right in the middle here and then you keep the right side. So this is the wrong side. This is the right side. After the the no um the filter pocket, then it will be the Nobert pocket, and then fold this over there. Okay. The reason why I'm sewing this line because I use single filter pocket. This is only this two face mat and then that. So that's why I'm sewing this line. So it's come out nicer.
So you go on to iron this all over this filter pocket. It was so handy, everyone. Isn't it so pretty? Okay, so everyone, after you iron the, the mask, you can just fold this in half. You fold another half again. Press down so you can sew this in. This up here, the, the, the um, no bridge pocket, everyone. We're still saying in one. Okay, so you go on to sew this way. It's the same way you sew on the uh, the ear loop palm pocket. So later on, when you're done with this, you go on to fold it in a quarter of an inch, and then you fold one more time, and then you sew the same way, the same way that I sew with the few uh, the Nobrits pocket here to this one too. And then we're all done, okay, everyone. I'm going to you the um, elastic seven inches, and you need to. Right way to the other end, right here, and then you you go on to close this area right here. You're gonna close it. You open this one to slide the the, uh, the nose wire in. The ear loop. You go on to do the same. The ear pocket. You're gonna do the same thing. Four one twice seven inches each for the ear loop mm. Look at this everyone, how adorable, so beautiful, isn't she so pretty, oh my god, love this face map, so beautiful. Thank you for watching everyone, I'm going to put it on and I will show you what it looks like, eh? and the fear and the no rich pocket right there. You can place the no rich in there, or you can fold a foil. I usually told you how you can fold a foil, the foil for cooking. You can fold it and then you can place it in here. It's going to work at the same job at the few, um, the nose wire, and it saves you a lot of money. Hi everyone, we finished the face mask today. Look at the door, how pretty she is. So pretty and cute. Look at her hair, ponytail, and everything. And the face mat with the filter pocket right on the side, it's super easy. The no bridge pocket right here that you can hardly see, it's going to be on your face here when you wear. Let me wear it and I'll let you know. I make face mat a little bit high up here so when you wear glasses, it won't fog your glass all day. Stay nice and clear. Look how snug it in here and all the way near the ear side. It's snuck all the way here everybody the the no bridge right here we put the um the foil for baking so all you need to do just pin this right in the middle right there every time you when you come home you have to wash your face mat and throw the filter away everybody so now i'm gonna place this and it stay right there stay like that all day nice and clear everybody right up here and your glasses stay right on the face mat to support our channel you don't have to do much you just um subscribe to our channel and also watch our video everyone the more you watch the better we um we get everyone thank you stay safe and take care